How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, on the fourth and final installation of the Jabba Denison 4-pack, I have the Tame Dren Garen. Like I said, I believe this is the very first time this figure has ever been released, not only on Vintage Collection, but in general. Um, I don't recall seeing these guys before, um, the, the Tame Dren or the, oh no, the Vulcan. Uh, like I said, I don't remember ever seeing them released before. On the back, he is VC-287. And then you do have the re-release of those figures, and yeah, we've gone through all that on three other videos. So... Let's see what we can do to get this guy off the card here real quick because he is just too awesome. Now this guy I did, you know, with a couple of the other guys, I did do research on him and actually I didn't have to do research. I remember him in the show. He's the one that shoots Luke in the hand and then so Luke properly like does away with him. So he does not survive the blast. I think out of the the three, four characters in this, I think the only one that survives is actually Tessic. Um, spoiler alert on like a 40-year-old movie if you haven't seen it already. Uh, everyone else does, does die along with Jabba the Hutt, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So with this all-new sculpt, he does have some really rad designs on him. I'm really digging that helmet look the bone on there oh come on focus on the figure and then he does have the removable helmet with the human likeness underneath with the double ball joint neck the shoulder articulation you know what isn't bad i expected it to be a lot worse um the right shoulder there does need a little bit of coaxing because of the sculpting that he has on top of his arm but i was able to get it worked past that and he wouldn't be like he could go further than the t-pose on his right arm not so much on the left the elbow articulation is uh, you know for a shirted figure it's not that bad overall he does have vertical wrist rockers on both sides i am not seeing a holster ah, they were doing I mean, they weren't doing great. Let's face it. That's one out of four figures that they've had holsters on. Um, but I know if the character design didn't have it, they probably didn't worry about it. His, the, the new T-bar on him actually works really well. They put the, the slits in his jacket there. Then he does have the thigh swivels. The knees, ooh, the knees are actually pretty good. And then he does have the rocker ankles. I'm really, really digging the sculpt on this guy. I think he is absolutely amazing. And then you get his helmet on him there. Ah, I'm just so happy to have so many more Jabba goons. I have the katana. I have the, the throne room. As soon as I get Jabba for the throne room, all these guys are going to go in a diorama with it. Right now, I just have the, the fat bib for tuna. If you haven't seen that video, you can go back to that video. So here is... The Tam Dren Garen. Here is the Velkin Tezzeri. Tezzeri? Tezzeri. The Tessic and the Riyiz for the Jabba Denison 4-pack. Focus, focus, focus. Overall, I'm super happy with this, this setup. I don't recall. I think it was like 76 bucks on Hasbro Pulse. It wasn't exclusive. It keeps bouncing between in stock and out of stock. But I really do think it's worth it for these three unique figures as their own. I don't know if you're going to want to RB build them for customs. But if you have any of the other Jabba the Hutt sets, I would probably highly recommend these, these figures. Just because they're going to look great on your cell barge, on your desert skiffs, in the throne room, or anything like that. But right there, guys, I think I'm going to go leave it with. Hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already. Go ahead and follow me on the Facebook and Instagram on Viper9 Toy Videos. And thank you for watching.